In this problem, we're looking at the linear expansion of aluminum. We have the coefficient of expansion for uh, aluminum alpha is 24 times 10 to the minus 6 per degree C. Um, so we have an aluminum pole as initial length of 11.9 meters. What is the cha change in length it experiences as the temperature goes from an initial temperature, 4.34 degrees C, to a final temperature of 46.43 degrees C, right? So how do we parse this out? Well, let's look at our equations, right? So thermal expansion, the change in length, the delta always means change. The change in length is alpha, alpha times the length times delta T, and delta is always final minus initial, right? So delta T is final temperature minus initial temperature, and delta L is the change in length, and so that can be positive if the temperature is increasing, that can be negative if the temperature is decreasing. What we're after here is delta L equals alpha L delta T. All right, so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to type delta, oop, delta L is alpha L delta T, and I'm just going to go ahead and expand out what delta T is, because T, that's just T final minus T initial, right? So that our change in length, delta L, is going to be at this alpha, 24 times 10 to the minus 6 um, per right, per degree C, right, at, or isn't great at this bit, okay, um, times our length, right, 11.9 meters, times our final temperature, 36.43 degrees C, minus 4.34 degrees C. All right, so uh, now we have to go put all of this over into Excel. Well, let's go take a look at that. Uh, alpha, 24E minus 6. That's how you put in 24 times 10 to the minus 6 in Excel, 11.9 meters. Final temperature, 36.43. Initial temperature, 4.34. Now our delta L is going to be alpha times L onto final temperature minus initial temperature. And what we get out of this is 0.009. Now, we want to convert from meters to centimeters, right? Um, which just means we have to multiply by 100 centimeters per meter, 0.916, all right? So we get 0.916 centimeters is the answer to this problem. And there you go, that's number four.